Hello again, my name is Mr. Chives, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. This time I am doing the, uh, the Silver Stag mod. So, let's get right into it. I'll show you the features. First thing you might notice is that uh, this is a little bit different. Right? This, uh, instead of just one question at a time, you get all these. And it's, it's just swell. I'm just going to go through this real quick. I'm going to be an impoverished noble who was a noble in training because why Why would you be a noble and be like, you know what, I'm going to go fucking be a street urchin. That, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, then he was a university student and then he went out for personal revenge. Now, I'm not sure who he went out for personal revenge against. But I'm just gonna say it's uh, the, the basically somebody from the Nords. Okay, so his goal, his immediate goal, is to take out the fucking Nords, to wipe them off the golly gosh darn planet. Let's see here. So he's gonna start at the Kingdom of Nords. He's gonna gain their trust, and then betray them. You also have the the option to gather companions or not. I choose not to because that kind of that's a little cheaty. I think since I'm so used to playing a two-handed character with a lance and a bow and arrow, uh, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna be a throwing main, right? Put a bunch into power throw. Or just two into power throw, I guess. And then some into shield. So it'll be uh, one-handed, shield, uh, lance, and then throwing. Yeah, there we go. Two points in shield. Okay, one point in shield and one point in iron flesh. So that is a very low number of hit points. And... I'll just put this into pole arms. You're gonna need a lot more in pole arms because of the uh... oh name, namey, namey, name, name, name. Okay, I'm gonna be Geert. That's a that's a name that was borrowed by the Danish. Uh, it means well, it was borrowed by another. You know, it was borrowed from another country, from another country, from another country, and it eventually just means spear. But, I like how it sounds. Geert. I usually have it with a Y, though. So. That'll do. Let's go. Going around here. Sword. Goes from its scabbard. Bop. See, as you can see here, as I'm kiting this dude around while he comes up trying to talk to me, uh, I can sprint. Right? By holding control, I can sprint, and that takes up the gold stamina bar under my health. And that... Hello. And uh, that is one thing that makes, you know... I'm interested. I'm gonna do the beginning quest really, really fast so that I can get a few hundred gold, because gold is a little bit harder to come by in this, and uh, troops are a little bit more expensive. By which I mean a lot more expensive. Um, yeah. It makes infantry combat. It makes the player, the, the play style of being off your horse, uh, more viable. Let's see a marketplace. I started with a book about uh, tax inefficiency. Useful. Yeah, I mean, it'll be useful later, but just right now it's not uh, not the most pressing of issues for me right now with my 400 gold. Okay, first order of the day, sell my bow and arrow. 
Extra 44 dinars. Hell yeah. Normally, I'd go down to uh, Fanda and then Quinn and then back to Sargon so that I can get five dudes. The thing is, it's a little bit different in this uh, little mod here. See, I can actually get troops from Sargoth. See, I can just go to Gather Information and Recruit Volunteers. Go to Recruitment. And like I said, they're a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more hardcore from the pricing. The Nordic Bondsmen are trash. Don't. Don't even. Uh, Nordic Hunters. L less trash, maybe. Nordic peasants are the lowest that I am willing to go, as far as troop quality. But uh, depending on how much money you have and how many peasant recruits are in the pool, you could just go ahead and go buy, uh, you know, a bunch of really expensive house carls. So, got six peasants. I'm gonna get. One Nordic peasant, a two Mordic peasant, Mordic, three, four, and five. There we go. That's uh, all my gold. That is all my gold. Um, and the explorer. I got Mathel. She's gonna cost a lot of money. I got Antimatter. He's gonna cost a lot of money that I just don't have right now. So, hunt for some bandits. Let's go. After checking upstairs. Who are you guys? Belligerent drunk and a slaver. Nice. Mm, oh, belligerent drunk. Come on. All right. Such a waste. I probably should have waited for him to uh, start attacking first. Now oh, this dude doesn't like me. Damn. Okay, now for the shortest hunt you ever seen. Show me where you keep your prisoners and then charge the enemy. Now, I didn't start with a horse. Which is really weird for me, because I usually start with the saddle horse at least. But luckily, there is sprinting, which works a lot better when I'm on flatland. Let's see if I can do something fancy here. Damn it. My usual start uh, has a lot more strength than this. And so, I was going to ride that horse. Um, yeah, my usual start has a lot more strength than this, so I'm going to have to be hitting people more times. Significantly more times. You get a piece of shit. Looks like they finally surrounded that dude over there. Maybe. These guys really are bad at surrounding. And I'm out of stamina, so I can't really uh, run so much. Just give me a second. I'll be there to be the only useful one. Never mind. Thank you, Nordic Peasant. Okay. Now then, a lame Sumter horse. I'll just hold off on that. Get myself a wizard hat. Bitches love wizard hats. Right here is the kidnapper side out. So... Oh! And now for a really hard decision. Just kidding. I'm gonna choose a half phoenix. Yeah. Now then. There's gonna be sea raiders around. Nope, just looters. That's fine. There's usually sea raiders around, so I uh, have to be really careful. Luckily, I don't have to be super careful because of these uh, view party reports. There's a stealth chance, and my stealth chance right now is 76%. So 
So, uh, yeah, I got a 76% chance of, you know, being seen. I mean, not being seen. The opposite of what I just said. I'm going to try and uh, stretch out the little explanations for things just as they're coming up. Because otherwise, uh, I just have an entire episode of me explaining how the game works and not, not of me playing the game, and that would be boring. Attack the hideout. I don't like this map very much, because there's going to be enemy uh, reinforcements to spawn over there after we've taken out these guys, so we just have to circle the map a few times. One good thing about shields is that they can stop arrows, which is uh, a lot better than running at somebody with with hope. There's nothing but hope to protect you. Come on! Okay. Ah, nope. Used to my range being a lot longer. That's fine though. Now I might actually be able to hit something in sieges. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Onward to Sargoth. After killing some looters. Dudes with the horses are the dangerous ones. So, uh... Damn it. Come on. I just want to hit you with my sword. Fine. I'll just deal with uh, the rest of the guys. Oh, and they're shield bashing. You can uh, knock them down if you interrupt their attack. That's pretty cool. This uh, mod really takes advantage of the Mountain Blade Script Extender, which is pretty nice. Oh, that dude. That's only a matter of time before that dude hits somebody, and then with my low surgery stat, somebody's gonna die. I don't have a lot of dudes right now, so every dude counts. Give me your bum. Yeah, spineless women folk. They really like saying that. Ow. Yes. They start shouting like that when they start sprinting. They're trying to sprint. See? And then... Yeah, I just said come on there, but... Dude! Yes! Are any of these better than my hat? No. Does this look better? No, it's not a wizard hat. And then more looters. Do I want to do this? Hmm. Nah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me get on your horse. Okay. I just want to hit you. I just want to hit you. I got pretty bad riding. So I can't really catch up with you. Nope. Note to self, get spearmen. Not only do spearmen uh, stop horses in their tracks, but they also do more damage to horses themselves in this mod. Which is pretty nice. Kinda kinda eliminates the whole uh, Swadian Knights thing. Or I guess Schwardian, according to the uh, to the trailer. I never wrote it about it like that, but uh okay. The Schwardians. 
Oh, good. An actual sumpter horse. And some rocks. I'll take those rocks, thank you very much. Hopefully I can get back to Sargoth in peace. Or just, you know, run towards it and then... Alright. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Snoochie booches. Okay. And I'm clear. Sea Raiders are going to be... Something. They are going to be something. Now I gotta help defend the town against the bandits that are just in the town, I guess. Come on. I keep instinctually... I keep wanting to, uh... Go into a hit right out of blocking, and that just shield bashes because that's that's how shield bashing works. So there's going to be a lot of just shield bashing for no reason. This is oddly tanky for my frame rate. This is shitting on my frame. I don't know what's going on. There we go. I guess it was that one particular guy. I have the cinematic version of the mod, which I guess has higher res stuff and it's a bit more uh, computer heavy. And I didn't think it would be that computer heavy considering it's uh, Mountain Blade Warband, but you know nice like what is it 10 year old game 11 year old game all right let every villain near him to f near him to fear to near him to uh we're getting too old for this shit you know the best uh two-handed slash one-handed weapons in the in the you know game game that i've ever found are the 40 damage axes that are two-handed plus one-handed and those scale down when you're using it with one hand to 34 damage. So this is actually a really, really, really good uh, investment. And I don't need to stab anyway. It just, it just means that I fucked up my swing and did no damage. That's basically what stabbing means to me in this game. Um, okay, let me see here. Yeah, I'll receive 80. Nice. Now then, we go down to the tavern. Let's see if I can afford you. Anti manor. Blah blah blah. There's 300 for you. Let's see if I can afford you. Alright, I can't. Now you. Ah. Uh, I know you. S yeah, I want to be king. You want to support my cause? Do it. Oh boy. Forest bandits. The hell are they doing so far down north, I guess? I keep forgetting this is the way that the... The map keeps on getting flipped upside down, and so I keep forgetting that this is the way the map's supposed to go. And that the uh, Rodox are actually to the south. Odd. Anyway. I want to get 10 acceptance with Sargoth. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. Okay. Gather information. No. Go to the Guildmaster. You have a job for me? Uh, deliver some cargo. Okay. 11 units of wine to Uxhall. And I will earn... 1364 dinars. Okie dokie. That is a good amount of money. To Uxhall then. Also in this mod... I'm actually going to want to put points into Weapon Master, which I thought was... I honestly think is useless in most 
versions of the game. But in this mod, it actually affects things. What are you? Can't see me. The only rapper in this industry that can't be seen. Deliver wine. Boondock. Hello. Boondock. Come with me, Boondock. You're my favorite dude. Also an explorer and a bunch of rooms upstairs. There's so many people that don't even know about these rooms upstairs. You gotta search them because sometimes people are hiding upstairs. How many times can I say upstairs? Okay. This is what I'm talking about, the heavy lock bar axe, right? It's got 40 cutting. But the problem with that is that it's, uh, it's speed and, yeah, the problem with that is that it's speed rating and damage go down by 15% because I'm using it with one hand, right? See, the 40C is, uh, if you're using it with two hands. So that translates to about 34. And this is 35, so this is effectively better than this, even though it has a higher number. And I leveled up. Twice. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna round it up at 9, because that's gonna bother me if they aren't in 3s. For those of you that don't know, uh, you, gotta, you gotta have them in 3s. Because if you have 3 points in strength, then... Uh, you can upgrade one of the strength skills once and then six points twice nine points three times see I got tactics and surgery at three because I only have nine points in intellect or intelligence or whatever or more in strength actually no I'm not Did it give me that intellect no damn it I meant to cancel not well Leadership trade. My trade should be final. I'll have somebody else do trade. Uh, pathfinding. Pathfinding would be nice. Trainer, I'm going to need it eventually. But right now, everything just starts out at a really high... Uh, at a really high base. Looting. Horse archery. I go for some horse archery. Put to hmm, three into horse archery there we go rest into throwing okay alright so abilities right uh, boondock starts at level 8 and so at, at level 5 10 15 20 all the way up to 30 right uh, every five levels you get a a skill that you can choose from and the companions all have their own so boondock has rapid reload so we can reload faster which is really good because that is the drawback for crossbows and now he's just a really good really really good archer with training of course eventually maybe nice he's level 8 and most of my guys most of the guys worth anything are level 12, just when you recruit them, so it's going to be a bit. Ooh. Ooh, I could help somebody here. Or I could not. I'm going to choose the second option. Nice pathing. Gotta go fast. Looters! We got looters, Boondock! We got looters, Boondock! Boondock, you wanna kill some looters? Okay, just charge the enemy. In bigger battles, uh, it matters more with the shield walls and all that stuff, but uh, right now, not so much. 
Hello. Oh shit, you are all on horses. Okay, just gotta hit ya. I gotta get up here and then I gotta I gotta hit ya. Damn it. Damn it. Just go down, you piece of shit. Oh, you're not getting away. Okay, you're you're getting away. And now they're gone. Whoa, who, who did that? That dude was long gone. That dude was just... How... How did you even do that? Okay. Nordic peasants. Note to self, do not underestimate Nordic peasants. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, one thing. One thing. It's got auto loot settings, right? So, uh, Boondock, right? Or Boondock. I want him to be crossbow infantry. Uh, crossbow bolts. Right? And then, one-handed weapon. And shield. Infantry. And then keep current mount, which is nothing, so he's gonna stay in infantry. Indefinitely, and that's where he needs to be. Right? And he's set up for medium armor, which is good. Uh, accept changes. There you go. Press the button a few extra times to make absolutely sure. And... Uh, let your companions choose gear from the pool. And then they just, they just choose it. Super simple and easy. It just works. Allow and continue. Collect valuable items and leave. Easy peasy loot system. It gets even easier later when I get one of the people that are able to do the things that I need them to do. Um, let me see if they've restocked this. Nope, just you. Okay. Hmm. Do I want darts or five throwing axes? Oh well, okay. Now, I must pay some money. That's fine. Talk to the Guildmaster again. Do you have a job for me? You want some cattle delivered. Well, this is going to take some time. I'm going to take the herd to Suno for 900. Fine. Guess that's what I'm doing. That's a lot of cows. I could probably sell all their meat for more than 900. But that would be wrong. Alright. Commence the epic cattle driving music. see me. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't see me. You can't see me. Okay. Still can't see me. Okay. 
Are you kidding me with this? If I knew I could take Forest Bandits, then I would totally just... I would take them on, but like, right now... I got like, five peasants. And a fresh, uh, companion, so... Okay, and... Done. Gotta get my happy ass back to Saragoth. Gonna put my horse back on. And then some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Veteran Nordic peasants. That's actually really good. They have spears now. Holy shit. Gonna have one more battle sequence for this episode. Everyone charge, Boondock. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Nope. St still not good. It'll get better. Okay. Down here to Blurry Sargoth. Okay. Now, now I'm all set up for whenever there's mounts here, which is now. So, if I get a decent amount of money, I can start getting Thanes from veteran recruits. Shit. Well, you know, those are easy to come by. I put on some of these plate or like steel stuff, or like cavalry round shields and stuff. But I really like seeing my colors. You know what I mean? Seeing my half phoenix. Alright, I think that's about it for this episode. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. I do appreciate it. It does help me a lot. And it shows that this is a series that you guys want to see continued. If you like me in general and just like how I do things, like my voice, like something about me, then uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, that would also help me a lot, and it would help you with uh, knowing when my videos come out. As always, my name is Mr. Chives, and thank you for watching.